Don't touch that remote. This is a really cool promo from Broadman and Holman and TLC Entertainment. Catch these clips and see what some of the coolest people in the world have to say about secret adventures. Pretty cool promo, huh? Hi, I'm Tamara Daniels. Well, actually, the voice of Tamara Daniels. I play Drea Thomas, and I get to act with some really cool guest stars like Michael W. Smith, there's me, and here's A.C. Green, and Chris Castile. I even get to play basketball with Cheryl Miller. She plays my junior high coach. Okay, when Michael Medved says that it's funny, fast, refreshingly wholesome, and my kids can't get enough of secret adventures, you gotta listen, right? Definitely. So sit back and watch my zany secret adventures that help me and the kids I babysit learn more about ourselves and how to make the right choices in life. so tired of all this rain. Well, there's not much we can do about it, Drea. Yeah, I know, but I'd give anything just to have one sunny afternoon in our garden. Gotta take the rain with the sunshine, Drea. There's a time for everything. There's a season for every activity under heaven. There's a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and, and, and a, a time, time to uproot. And a time to put your life on hold because it's pouring out. Well, that depends on how you look at it, doesn't it? I mean, after all, those plants out there, they love that rain. Makes them grow. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not a plant. <laughs> Drea, life is as much about learning how to survive the downpours as it is about enjoying basking in the sun. After all, no pain, no gain. And I suppose that's a quote from Great Grandpa Thomas? Nope. Gene Fonda. electronic diary. We've had 10 inches of rain in the last two days, and the humidity is so high, I feel like I'm living in a terrarium, which calls for some indoor fun, Drea Thomas style. Bye for now. Whoa, this is great cool, Drea. I saw a giant butterfly over there. So guys, what did we learn about butterflies? It's loud. Now I wonder what that could be. Sounds like a Tyrannosaurus Rex to me. That's what 
The Mamasaurus, the most fearsome animal in all the jungle. Come on, let's go. Wow, Dre, your imagination is dynamite. See you tomorrow, Dre. You are amazing. Come on, man. See ya. See you guys later. Dre, you're the best babysitter ever. <laughs> Dre, I think your mom has been watching that home shopping channel again. Well, what do you think? Suitable for your dad's beach party in the kitchen since it's raining outside. Clam bake? Bingo. As in beach blanket bingo. I can't wait to hear dad's big surprise. How much time do I have to get ready? Well, about two shakes of an alligator's tail to use the decade correct lingo. And what's that in modern speak? That's about five minutes, honey. I'll see you on the flip flop. Dad's gone all out for this thing, but what do you wear to a clam bake? Room for my daughter to beat me. Oh, Dreamon, you look cool. Right, oh, Daddy. -o. <laughs> Am I cooler than cool or what? The goatee? Definitely you. Thanks, Toaster. Hey, happen in shades. Very groovy. Island Creek coming up. Oh, ho, ho. I think everybody's got coconuts around here. I think it's ketchup, man. Uh-uh-uh. Brace before grub. Why don't you give thanks tonight, Drea? Just like this? Yeah. Well, we're all dressed kind of weird, honey. Okay, Grandpa. Dear Lord, thank you for all this rain, I, I guess. Thank you for all our friends and family here at Hampton Falls. And bless this food. Amen. 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 Okay. Who's first for baked mango with pookie pookie pesto? Oh. So is this your big surprise? No, 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 no. This is dinner. <laughs> ah, so what? The accent's a big surprise? No, no. I've got a big surprise that is so huge that if I tell you now, you probably wouldn't be able to eat. Please tell, us no, tell us now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, all right, okay. <laughs> You all know that I'm uh, flying to Los Angeles tomorrow for my final interview at yes, California and, University. and I think that if they want you to be the chairman of the music department for one of the best universities in the country, they should insist that you take your lovely wife, your charming daughter, and your handsome father along. Well, actually, that is the big surprise. Four tickets to Los Angeles! Oh, we're all going out. <laughs> I lose three. Yes, Drea Thomas, you and your whole lucky family will be winging your way to posh Beverly Hills, sun-drenched Santa Monica, and the playground of the stars, Hollywood, California. Jim, how did you do this? Well, it's thanks to Dean McClellan at Cal U. He really wants me to school. Jimmy, this is incredible. <laughs> you know, I've never been to the West Coast. Well, wear that shirt, Dad. You'll fit right in. <laughs> Kimberly, what am I going to take? I haven't even started to pack yet. You are so lucky. My dad was supposed to take us to England this summer. Or was it France? Anyway, the whole thing got canceled, and now we're having a family reunion in Atlantic City. Can you believe it? Oh, bummer. I'm going to miss the last day of school. Kimberly, can you say goodbye to everyone for me? Drea, I just had a horrible thought. What happens if your dad gets this ultimate professorship and you have to split forever? Drea, Drea, are you there? Sorry, I sort of went to pieces over that one. I understand. Call me later. I've got to call Kristen before she hears the news from anybody else. Bye. Bye. What's that for? For taking us all to Los Angeles. 
Do you think I'm doing the right thing? I mean, what's it like in a big city like L.A.? Is it safe to move there? In the past few years, they've had riots, earthquakes, fires. Flood. Yeah, I guess they've had floods, too. No, honey, there's a flood in the basement. Again. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe L.A. won't be so bad. At least it doesn't rain there from May through September. They have a world-class orchestra, no mosquitoes, zero percent humidity. Hello, this is Dorothy, next tornado to Oz in three minutes. Drea, it's George. Look, Bobby told me that Chenille told him that Kristen called and said that Kimberly's telling everyone you're moving tomorrow. Not exactly. Just visiting this time, but after that, I may not be living in Kansas anymore, Toto. I hope you don't move, Drea. Thanks, me neither. Look, George, I gotta finish packing. Right now, my room looks like Jameson's department store after their half-off sale. I'll call you when I get back. All right. I guess I'll see you around. Bye. Deary D. I called Mrs. Long and I told her why I'd missed the last day of school and babysitting. She was cool. But Matt and Rebecca are a different story. Why do you have to go, Drea? Can't you talk to your dad about not taking the job? Whoa, 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 guys. Yeah, I have to go. And I have no idea what my dad's gonna decide. It's out of my hands. It's what everybody always says. When does it stop, Drea? When does everybody stop losing people that they really love? Oh, Matt, I don't know. I mean, I can't even think about leaving you guys. Drea, ever since our dad died, you've been the one person we've gotten closest to. You're like a member of our family. And, and we, we don't, don't want you to move. Come here, guys. Drea! Ready to go to the airport? Hey, kids, you better get going. You don't want to be late for your last day of school. Come on, guys. Bye, Drea. Bye. Please hurry back. Yeah, because you know who's our replacement babysitter. No, who? Arlene Blake. Oh, great. This is just what I needed to hear. This has got to be Arlene's dream come true. Well, E.D., we officially landed in Hollywood, the style and smile capital of the world. Dad was really excited about his interview with Cal Yu, especially when it went so well. California's not as bad as I expected, but I'm still scared that we might actually have to live here.
call it a day. I guess we discovered the differences between Hampton Falls and Hollywood. Yeah, all three million of them. Testing, testing, one, two, three. You know, Mom, I miss home. Oh, come on, Drea, loosen up. We're gonna see a real television sitcom with that actor that's Rebecca's favorite. What's his name, anyway? Chris Castillo. Try and have a good time, honey. It goes for you, too, Dad. Hi, I'm Chris Castile. Now, there's been a little delay backstage, but that gives me a chance to meet you in person. Let's start with these folks. Where are you from? Oh, we're from Hampton Falls, New Jersey. Oh, so you must know Arlene Blake. <laughs> you know, I heard she was with the long kids now, especially that great-looking babe with the glasses. You know, Rebecca? Tough break, Drea. Okay, one more time. So, you're on summer break, right? Uh, yeah, I sure am. Wasn't he in Beethoven? Yeah, I think you're right. Time to go, Craig. Oh, I gotta go. Enjoy the show and your stay here in Hollywood. Because Arlene's having a great time with the long kids at home. Sit up, Matt. I can't believe this. I mean, school is out for the year. Can't we just play? That's later on in our schedule. Right now, there will be no talking. Or I'll have to put you under the sad face. And we wouldn't want that, now would we, Matt? I can't take this anymore. I'm stuck in a Friday afternoon doing dumb math drills. I want Drea! Matt! You come back here this instant! You come out of that bathroom this instant. No. Ugh. This is not the way a responsible seven-year-old should act. I can't believe he's locked himself in your mom's bathroom. He'll come out eventually, when he gets hungry. No, uh my pack is filled with granola bars, M&Ms, and raisins. I can last for days. Ugh. That was fantastic. <laughs> We could never see a sitcom being filmed in Hampton Falls. We've got to remember to thank Ian McClellan's friend Mike. Mike, right. For the tickets. It was a funny show, Dre. Not as good as that Barney Miller show, but it was funny. You remember that series? Sure. It's kind of hard to believe that we might actually end up living here. Grandpa, wait. I'm scared. I'm scared to start all over again where nobody knows me. And I'm, I'm scared to lose my friends. And I'm scared of what's going to happen to Matt and Rebecca. I don't know whether I'm cut out to live in the second biggest city in the country. I know what you mean, Drea. I'm worried, too. Hello, this is Kimberly Antow. I'm not able to take your call right now, so if you'd like to leave a message, please do so after the tone. Beep! Hi, Kimberly, it's George. Have you talked to Drea? No. Hey, how'd you know it was not my answering machine? A very lame beep. Do you realize how dull our lives are going to be without Drea around? I mean, no one to challenge or lean or have a rock star perform in her living room? Yeah, nobody to carry out harebrained schemes or miraculously raise thousands of dollars for ECAs. Oh, I miss her already. Yeah, me too. I guess you just don't realize how much you care for someone until they're almost gone. Well, the bathroom stunt was pretty childish. I know, I'm a child. Do you think Drea's moving away for good? I hope not. I do miss her. I feel a hole in my heart right here. Yeah, it's sort of like how we felt when we found out that Daddy died. Rebecca? Do you remember him? I'm starting to forget. Oh, Matt. 
You were so little. When Daddy held you in his arms, you knew you were safe. He had the kindest eyes. I remember how happy Mom was and all the things that we used to do together. Sometimes he'd push us on the swings and we'd go for long walks in the park. Matt, Rebecca, I will always love you. I really miss him. Sometimes, at night, I wake up, and I think he's still here. Hey guys, it's time for bed. Mom. Are you gonna go away? No, no honey, I'll be right here. We're sad that Daddy's gone, and Dre may be leaving too. It's going to be okay. It's tough coming home knowing that this may be the last time I see all the places and the people I grew up with. It's not easy, but I guess loss never is. You got in here, Drea, the Hollywood sign? I think she's got all the sand from Malibu Beach. Thanks, George. Oh, yeah. Take it from here. Just think when we have to move all this stuff for real. So you are moving. Well, Dad had a great interview and Mom found some possible houses. Oh. Look, George, I don't want to move. Look, Drea, I'm going to be super sad if... Well, when you go. I just wanted to say that I... Sorry, I gotta go. What just happened here? Did George Easton just kiss me? Ah, ooh la la, the first kiss. <laughs> How romantic. <gasps> Luck goes the springs of my slots. I gotta call Kimberly. Talk to you a second. Sure, Dan. What's up? Something I got to tell you I've been wrestling with all during this trip. If you decide to move, I can't go with you to California. What? But, Dad, your family. We've only got each other. What about Dre? I mean, she needs her grandpa. I know. Oh, I know. And I need her, too. I'll come visit. No, Los Angeles is a town for younger people, Jimmy. It's not for me. <laughs> I never saw so many people going places so fast in all my life. My life is here. Your mother's grave out at that old cemetery. My old friends. Pastor Lloyd. I can't just leave all that behind. I'm sorry, son. Now, will you do me a favor and don't let Drea know about this yet? I gotta think of some way to tell her this myself. So you're 
really leaving, huh? Yeah, I guess so. You know something? Marlene's a dork. Well, you're right. But be nice to her, okay? We'll try. You know what we need around here? A, a secret adventure. Exactly. Rebecca, we're caterpillars. Whoa, look at all these legs. Wow, I hope I don't get a Charlie horse. <laughs> What's that sound? Uh-oh, the caterpillar's mortal enemy. Birds. <laughs> things have to change so they can grow. We had to give up being caterpillars before we could turn into butterflies. Sometimes we need to give up something we think is really important in order to realize that there may be something incredible waiting for us just up ahead. Rebecca, Matt, let's go! Hi, Drea. You guys go on down. I'll be right behind you. Okay. So, I'm really gonna miss you. Me too. You know, my kids love you. And I do too. <laughs> Goodbye, Dre. You're the best. God bless. Goodbye, Mrs. Long. More coffee, honey. No, no thanks. Well, they made me the offer, and I've reached my final decision. Dad, I want you to know that I'm going to be sad to leave Hampton Falls, but I'm sure things can be even better in California. That's a very mature thought, Drea. And I got a fax machine, son. I mean, we'll be sending things back and forth to each other all the time. I really appreciate the sacrifice that each of you were willing to make for me. Cal U has top-notch students. Beautiful campus. But it's still missing one thing. 
the Thomas family. I said no. You said what? No. Why? I realized that I can't leave my dad. Our friends, our church, <laughs> this leaky old house. And I really do like my job and the students here. I guess that sometimes you have to almost lose something before you realize how much you really want to keep it. Oh, Jim Thomas, I love you. Grandpa, we're staying! All right. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold it. I'm stuck with the fax machine. Oh. <laughs> All right! Okay, guys, we're staying. Everybody, back in the cover. That smells great after it rains, doesn't it? <laughs> God's timing is incredible. Were you really gonna stay here all by yourself? Oh, yeah. I'm afraid it wouldn't have been for long, though. I think I'd have missed you too much. I love you, Grandpa. Love you, Drea. Hi, it's me. I'm not moving. <laughs> really? Great. Call George. Hello? I'm staying! <laughs> Who is this? George! <laughs> You're kidding! It's true! Matt, you can come out now! Dre's dad decided that they're not moving. It's about time. Hi, Scott. Drea, I heard a rumor and I need to know if it's true. Are you moving or not? Not. There's no place like home. And maybe this will give us a chance to be friends after all. There's no place like home. But why does she have to live here? Hey, Lou, everything okay? Things are picking up, Chris. Hmm, three million. Pretty reasonable. <laughs>